guys. Um, don't mind my nails, so I'm gosh, they're horrible. So I just made it to the recovery house. Um, I had to do like all the paperwork and stuff downstairs. But now I'm actually like in my room, um, which I'm sharing a room with two other girls, um, which they're pretty cool. I met them like through the through the Facebook group with Almonte, but I ended up switching my doctor, which that would be the third time. So I switched my doctor from Dr. Brewster in Miami back to Almonte. Um, if you don't know, Almonte was my first doctor. Um, I came to her in February 2020 when I had my tummy tuck, lipo, and BBL. Um, well, she does really good work. She's just more of a natural doctor, and I kind of want like a little more like pizzazz. So this is round two. Um, so I ended up, I booked for her and everything, and literally four days before I had to leave, I ended up changing to Dr. Soto, which he is, honey, phenomenal. Like, so I know he about to get this right, okay? Um, but I'm gonna give you like a little tour of my room. Um, I actually stayed in this room the same exact room last time I was here. Um, I actually requested it. So, and I am staying at New Life, which is common for Almonte dolls to stay here. But, you know, I just was comfortable. I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew the food was good, so I, I didn't want to try any other recovery house. So, I'm going to give you a room tour. Okay. Today's Sunday. Um, I got here yesterday, Saturday morning. Um, pretty much for the night, um, one of my surgery sisters came. Um, so it was me and her. Um, the third surgery sister is actually getting here today. She should be here actually shortly. Um, tomorrow I have pre-op at 6.30. So tonight I can't eat past 9 o'clock. Um, but so far, so good. I'm just ready to have my surgery. Um, I actually pushed my surgery sister's surgery up to tomorrow so she's actually going to be going tomorrow and i probably won't see her until wednesday because then i go to surgery on tuesday when she comes back um but i'm like super excited but i just want to show you guys my body pre-op um and then i'll take you guys along with me to do labs and to the clinic and hopefully you guys get to meet dr soto as well see you just got back from Priya, which I was a fucking, oh, I should blank that out. I was a nervous wreck, okay? Um, I'm supposed to be, my BMI is supposed to be 35, which I'm a little over, it was like 35.3, but they cleared me, but I was nervous. And then, um, once I went in, I met with Dr. Soto, first of all, all right, let me start from the beginning. I get there, whatever, I get upstairs, I meet his assistant. His assistant is Issa. Issa, she's funny, she's cracking jokes, so it kind of put my mind at ease. So we laughing, it was um, some other girls up there too. So she told me, go downstairs, do my lap. I go downstairs, um, you know, here they do a little, like what is it, a syringe, it's sort of like the little thing that we have in the US or whatever. So I do my lap or whatever, 
Well, I do my blood work. And then they say, oh, you got to pee in a cup. Mind you, I didn't drink anything since 9 o'clock. No, not even. 8 o'clock the night before. So I'm like, ma'am, I don't have to pee. So I go to the bathroom. Then I come back out with the empty cup. I'm like, I cannot. Then there was another girl who was um, doing her lap. She was like, no, run the water. So I go. I ran the water. I'm in the bathroom for five minutes. Now I'm like, it's probably a line. People are mad at me. I don't even care at that point. So whatever. So I finally use the bathroom. I give it to her. Then I see Issa. She's like, all right, go upstairs. The cardiologist. I go upstairs. Um, I go upstairs. So I'm like, they asking me stuff, you know, regular stuff. Like, oh, you got asthma. Da, 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 da. So I'm like, no, I don't have asthma. They're like, do you smoke? I'm like, no, I don't smoke. They're like, um, hookah. Oh, they know to ask for hookah, huh? So I'm like, oh, okay, occasionally. Um, so I just do like, um, the breathalyzer little thing to see how well my lungs are. Then I go and I see the pulmon pulmonologist. Anyway, person for your heart, make sure your heart good. You ain't going path out. So I go see her or whatever. She's asking me questions, whatever. Then after that, I have to go to, oh, I actually met with um, Dr. Soto. So um, first it was Dr. Rodriguez, which I'm assuming is his assistant. Um, I met with him. He asked me a few questions. Um, he said I had to meet with the anesthesiologist just to make sure, you know, everything was okay and I would be clear. Because basically that's who cancels your surgery. It's not really the surgeon. It's the anesthesiologist who says, uh, I don't feel comfortable putting this person under. So... I'm talking to him or whatever, but then Dr. Soto had left out, so I'm like, well, where he going because he need to look at this body. So then he comes back, and he's like, oh, I didn't see your body, like, come here. So, uh, you know me, I left up my dress or whatever, and he's just like, oh, okay, like, he sees where exactly my issues are with my butt. I was just like, yes, he about to make me look like a snack, honey, because he already see it without me saying anything, okay? So, hi! Oh my baby! Yeah, here. Oh my gosh, she's so annoying because <laughs> she don't like the cold. And all night, <laughs> we had that AC going. And all night over there, we had the AC off. Oh my goodness! Hi everybody! It's my surgery oh sister. My oh my god! I was calling you. How are you feeling? I mean, I'm a. Little... I'm gonna come back to y'all. Okay. I'm back. Okay. Um. But yeah, what did I leave off? So yeah, so he looked at my body or whatever, and he seen all the flaws that basically I have. Um, and he was just like, and I told him, I'm like, I don't want my butt any bigger than what it is. Like, my boyfriend made it real clear. He said, listen, you better not come back with no big ol' ass. So, I was just telling him, like, I don't want no more projection. I just want you to fill in or whatever. So he was like, no, 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 we're just going to fill in. We're going to fill in your little hip dips. Like, I got you. So I'm super, super excited. Um... My surgery is that I ask to be first because I like to be in and out. I don't I don't need no more time to sit there and think about what's going to happen. So, yes. So, they told me to be there at 7 o'clock. Um, There's a few things I got to um, bring with me. But he did say, um, he was asking me if I wanted laser lipo on my thighs. And I had lipo on my thighs and I don't like it because it caused sagging skin. And I don't like it. So, now I'm over here... Um, thinking I'm gonna just work out you know just work out um my legs and my arms so they can kind of match the rest of my body um but now I'm over here researching right researching let's look so I'm over here researching holy basil lipo I think it's like J plasma and it's supposed to tighten the skin as they're lipoing so I'm doing my research before I definitely tell him no but he told me he told me to come back. He said, come back tomorrow and let me know, like, what you decide. So, I will let him know tomorrow if I'm going to decide. I keep looking over there because I keep looking at myself. <laughs> oh, so I can see that. Um, to let him know what I'm going to do. Um, right now, I, it's leaning more towards a no. Like, I could fix my thighs working out. Um, and I said that. I said after this round, this is my last round, unless I decide to do these <laughs> girls. But, um... That's my last round, so I'm just gonna, you know, try to work out and maintain it and not go home and stuff my face like I did the first round. Um, but I'm super, super excited, and I'm super, I'm not even nervous, I'm more, like, anxious, like, 
come on get this over with because i already know this is gonna be a rough patch and then you know after your recovery is like when you be like oh like i look good but after surgery you like who who told me to do this who oh. but yeah i just wanted to like kind of catch you guys up and tell you guys what you know kind of like my little i'm probably gonna do like a q a or like a sit down kind of like story time on it like just so i could write down and have notes because right now i'm just going off of what happened and then i was starving so i just ate and now i'm about to take a nap because i'm tired um but i'll probably do like a q a a sit down tell y'all everything you know have notes that way i don't miss anything um especially with me switching doctors like three times but anyway but i'll get back to y'all i probably won't talk to you guys until you know i get to sleep la in the morning um being that i'm probably gonna be in the room for a long time because they want to stay at seven but i don't think surgery starts until like nine or ten but i asked to be first so but i'll get back to y'all hey guys so i'm back i'm out of recovery i can't put it over here anyway, i'm back i'm out of recovery um Hmm. We got here at 7 a.m. We did the final paperwork. Um, then we went downstairs to the fourth floor, which is where, like, the hospital is in the rooms. Um, so we went downstairs to the fourth floor, and then, um, we went to the fourth floor. Oh, so we had to sit there. And then some lady asked for, like, you know, paperwork and blood work and stuff. So we're like, come on. The blood monitor thing, blood pressure, blood pressure machine. Um, I'm gonna get a good angle. This is not cute. Um, got here at seven, asked for the blood pressure and stuff. We did that. Then we sat in the lobby for like a good 10, 20, 30 minutes. Um, then when I asked my doctor, he was like, come, let me muck you up. I'm like, okay. So he took me, he mucked me up. I showed him everything again, so he won't forget. And I was first. So then they put me in the room, they put my gown. They gave me an asthma treatment, and I don't even know why I don't have asthma. Um, then, after the asthma treatment, they literally rolled me downstairs. Like, we went downstairs, and then... I just didn't know what time surgery. Like, he was like, stay still. I was on the table. Like, this is really about to have surgery. So, that's all I remember. And me saying, I had no smells because I had to be. And they told me, like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, I guess because you get a catheter or so whatever. Um, then I woke up in my room. So, right now, I'm in my room now. Um, I have my overnight nurse here home so that's that and i'm hungry and it's like four o'clock and it's my i can't eat so eight o'clock and it's the first time i woke up and i'm actually hungry my first time i woke up i didn't want to eat i didn't want to i didn't want to talk now i actually want to get up and move around i kind of want to see my body and i can't move love a cat better I was there. But my hips hurts. I know he I know he didn't have these hips. But I'm so excited. I know they didn't put me on my faha. I will show y'all what they would be sending my to these because they hot. Um But once I can stand and stuff, I'll come back on um these eyelashes and these glasses, baby. Um much I can stand up and like move around from the point. I'm gonna show you guys what I look like, you know, day one, or if not today, come out of the home, so it'll be day two. We're back to the real property house. But it's gonna be maybe up day, so I did have my century, and I'm excited to see what I look like. All right, um, hey guys, so I haven't spoken to you since the day I got out of surgery, which was, um, Tuesday. Today is, today's Saturday, I believe. It's the, okay, it's the 25th. So I have my surgery on the 21st. Um, 
when I got back, hold on, let me get my legs together. When I got back to the regular, uh, no, oh, so boom. Um, after that, the next day, they come and they take my hemo. They say my hemo is 7.3. So then they have to give me a blood transfusion. I was heated because, number one, I just don't like blood transfusions. And then, you know, here they put the IV in your hand and not in your, um, in your arm. And your veins in your arm is, like, small. So, I mean, your veins in your hands are small. So... Every time she would give me medicine, my job wasn't in pain, so I told her I didn't want pain. But they don't speak English. That's why they tell you to bring an overnight nurse because most of the nurses at the clinic don't speak English. Um, so I just was telling her, like, no, like, I don't have no pain. I don't have no pain. And she still was trying to give me the medicine. The medicine burned. Burn. Like, I was so upset. Like, girl, I would take the pain over this. Um, then, so... At one o'clock, they did all that. Then they're like, oh, we're waiting for the blood to come. The blood took forever. Long story short, I didn't get out of there until like five o'clock. So I was annoyed. By the time I got back, um, I wasn't in pain. You know what it was? It was the fluid. So because I had lipo, he stitched up all the incisions. Um, and fluid was building up. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, your stage one faha is not really tight. Like, it doesn't really compress you. It's kind of like elastic. So... I was just like, I had so much pain. Um, not in pain, but like, like the fluid. So, the fluid in my back was just like every time I moved, I felt every like f inch of fluid like moving. But um, today is a better day. Um, I do my little walking around. Um, I eat, but besides that. Oh, I had my first massage yesterday after my appointment. So I went to my appointment and the doctor, Dr. Soto, wasn't there or Dr. Rodriguez wasn't there either. I believe they went to a convention and put the condo with the rest of the um, plastic surgeons. But um, his nurses was there and they took really good care of me. Um, they changed my bandages and they drained me, which was, she was like, mommy, you have a lot of fluid. I was like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Please get it. And at first I was like so nervous. I'm like they had to open the stitches and well, open my incisions to squeeze all the fluid out. And it was hurting, but it felt so good. Like it was like a relief. Um then after that, um I came back, I got a massage. So I was draining even more. Um then I washed up, they washed my faha, you know, I got back in my faha. And I basically napped all day after that. Today, um, for the most part, I've been just up. I've been just trying to get like my massages out the way. So today I had a massage as well with Rosie. And baby, those massages, those massages are not for the week, okay? They're not for the week. Like, but I know I have to get them. So I'm trying to find somebody at home. I have found a lady in New Jersey, but. I'm about to figure it out. But yeah. Um, besides that, all the girls that were here, like my surgery sisters, they have left. Um, it's only me, Sheree, and Denise left out of like the group. Um that's pretty much it. Right now, I will show you guys my body, but it's not giving I have surgery. It's giving very much swollen. It's giving very much humpty dumpty sound on the wall. So once the fluid is gone and it's giving me a little definition. That's not true. I will show you guys, okay? What uh, you? Because one of my best friends is going to camera. Is that right? <laughs> um. So that was Sheree. Me and Sheree actually share a room after Latifah left. It's just me and her. Thank God, because I keep looking at myself. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't look bad though. Um, I'm so ready to go home. Like, you don't even understand. I'm so ready to go home. Like, so I can't get here any quicker. Like, so I have my next massage is tomorrow. My next post-op appointment is Monday. And then Monday night, which Tuesday morning at 12 a.m., I will be at the airport because my flight leaves at, at 3. Okay? 
Um, I do want to see if he can give me a quote for my boobs because I think I want to come back in March for my boobs, but only if he's letting me do early March. I know they say six months, which would make it March 21st, but I need early March, honey. So I'm going to talk to him on Monday, see what he quote me for. Um, but besides that, um, that's pretty much it. I'm kind of homesick. I want American food. Tried to order McDonald's. I don't even eat McDonald's, and it was just not given. Like I want some Jamaican food, like so bad. Um, that's pretty much it, though. So I will keep you guys updated. Well, I will try. Well, now I feel much better. It wasn't like I was down or anything. I kept taking the medicine that made me drowsy, which I don't like that. Um, so it made me really sleepy, and that's majority of what I did was sleep. Which me, I'm saying right now, I'm going to sleep my, my time away because it's like, what else am I doing? I'm going to walk, stroll, and that's part about it. <clears throat> but yeah, um, and then I keep sleeping with the AC on, so I kind of got like a little high cold. So now I have the fan on and I'm just watching Money Heist. Money Heist has been, baby, has been the light. In the tunnel it's a really good show but i won't get back to you guys i keep looking at myself that's so horrible like why do they make cameras like this like anyway i'll catch you guys later bye